Today we're doing the tutorial for the envelope card holder with snap tab. There's also a version without the snap tab. I have my uh, paper printed out with my dimensions on it of what I need to cut. I need a piece of vinyl. It could be printed vinyl or marine vinyl. A piece of felt. This will be for the lining because it doesn't fray when we cut our edges for the envelope. And our ruler. Our 5x7 hoop with tearaway stabilizer, cutting utensils, and we'll need one set of cam snaps for the snap. So I'm going to cut my vinyl. I need one piece that's four and a quarter and by four and three quarters. And then my front two pieces that I need will be four by two and three quarters. I want my design to make sure that it's going vertical. And then I need another piece that's going to be four by two inches. Um, if you're not real uh, sure on your measurements of when you lay your pieces, you can always go the two and a quarter. That way it'll give you a little play, but if you're um, good with your measuring and setting, you can go with just the two inches so that you're minimizing your, whoops, sorry, minimizing uh, your vinyl so that you'll have more vinyl for other projects. And then I have my piece of felt also cut at four and a quarter by four and three quarters. So you have your pattern loaded into your machine and I'm going to show you that you need to change your colors and where to put your stops. So. Uh, every color is different so that you know to stop, but it doesn't mean you need to use those colors. So we're going to use all solid one color throughout the whole thing. So I'm going to change all the colors first to black. And then I can later in the machine make that black on any spool that I want. Alright, so everything is black. Oops, except for that one. There we go. So I have all my steps black. So my first step, I don't need to stop it. It's going to stitch out my placement line. Second one, we want to stop. We're going to place our fabric. We're going to sew that line. So we want it to stop before the next one so that we can make a cut and then place our next piece of vinyl. And we're going to sew that piece out. And it'll also sew our little uh, marker for where we're going to put our cam snap. And then the last step, we want it to stop as well. This last step is going to be where we place our larger piece for the backing along with our felt. So I have all my placements and my stops. And we're going to close that. And what I want to do now is I'm going to rotate this because I'm getting, again, I always get the most out of something. So I'm going to be able to get the snap portion and then I can also get the non-snap little envelope card holder in the same hoop. Uh, and if you don't join the two together in the same time in the hoop, that way you can change your vinyl color, your vinyl pattern, uh, so that it's not the same and they're not joined. So you're going to uh, show you how to get the most out of that. So I've rotated it. I'm going to close it. In my 5x7 hoop, which I have my stabilizer ready to go, it's all there, what I'm going to do is bring this design all the way to the bottom. Whoops, sorry, I'm in the wrong, sorry about that. Uh, not. I'm going to change from the end editing, which we are done, to our next where we're ready to position it. So I'm going to move it to the bottom of my 5 by and all the way to the back. So it's going to look like this when it's sewn out. We're going to be at the very side and the very bottom. So if you're in a single needle, you're going to do the same thing. Your hoop will be this way. You want to move it all the way to one side and to the other side. This way we're going to get the most out of this and I'll be able to put another piece over here. So we've moved it all the way and all the way. So now we're ready to sew. And my black position is on black thread and I do want to use black thread. Make sure your bobbin thread is the same and the position is on my 10, which is my black. Ready to sew. We have our vinyl pieces ready to go. Put our hoop in. 
Our first stitch will be our placement stitch. Alright, we have our first placement line. We're going to take our vinyl and it's going to be our uh, three and a half inch piece first and we'll kind of line it up inside the guidelines. We're not going to spray this time to hold it because we need to remove the uh, stabilizer. So I'm going to just tape it a little bit on the edges. Okay, we'll pop it back in to our next step. Step, we do need to cut this piece out before we go into the next piece. So I'm going to take my tape off. And this part you're going to use um, your smaller scissors. I use the curved scissors. I'll show you these. So they're my curved. And the way I set the design is so when I do my cutting, the portion I want to keep is going to be to my right or to the uh, bottom or back side of the scissors and then the part I want to cut out is going to be towards me or the part I can hold with my hand. So I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to get kind of close. You don't want to cut the stitches because this, be, uh, this is the important part where we want to make sure we're cutting nice and even because this part will be seen. And we're going to cut evenly. You don't want to cut to the end of your scissors or snip. You want to just cut uh, small portions. We want to uh, cut slow finish at the end. You don't need to go all the way to the bottom. This portion will be covered so I'm going to just snip those pieces. And then one more. I'm going to cut along here. And we'll get rid of this piece. We want it to be nice and even. And before you stop, uh, before you get to the end you want to just stop, open your scissors up, move the vinyl all the way to the inside of your scissors and do nice stop and you want to move your scissors back up and that's how you get your nice even. You don't get those jagged edges because you're not snipping each time. And when you do your snipping is when you end up getting jagged edges. So you want to do nice, nice even and then you're going to glide your scissors back up into it. A nice cut and glide your scissors back up into it and then cut. So that's how you would cut. I have a nice uh, even cut around. So I'm going to put it back in the hoop. My next piece, that two and a half, I'm going to line it up towards the bottom. You can see where the bottom is going to end. You can see right here. This is where your line is going to end up being right at the end. So you want to make sure you overlay just a little bit. Make sure your design faces the right way. We're going to lay that on top. Same thing, we're going to add a little bit of tape. We don't want to glue. We don't want to spray glue or anything. And another little tiny piece of tape just to hold it. Back in our hoop. And we're going to sew out one more step. All right. And our next step, let's remove the tape, is we want to cut the vinyl on this step as well. Same thing. We're gonna the piece that we want to keep was gonna be away from us, away from the scissors. This cut part we need to cut and we're gonna hold will be towards us. We'll start at the bottom of the curve. And this is the tricky part on that one when you do it in a four by four frame is trying to get inside your frame. So five by seven frame is the easiest to work with. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do an even cut, move my scissors up into it, a nice guide. Move my scissors up into it, glide, scissors up in. And come around. I'm doing this slow so that you guys can see it. Normally I just whip it around, I can cut. 
Uh, you can also use, um, if you're good with it, a seam ripper and start with the seam ripper, but you don't want to cut your uh, threads at all and you just want to make sure you have a nice little even, pretty decent, uh, a nice even on there because this is your finished cut. And that's what that looks like. And we're going to put it, uh, our last step will be our two pieces. And I'm this one I will glue or spray glue. You don't have to, but I, I will just to keep it tacked down. So a little bit of spray. A little spray booth down there. And I'm going to attach my vinyl onto my felt. That way the felt won't fray when we do our cut at edges and by people using it, or using it as a wallet afterwards when you do, or a gift card holder, um, the edges won't fray on the, the felt. I've tried the fabric with a fusible on the fabric. It works okay. There's still a little bit of fray, but it's up to you on how you want to do your design. You're more than welcome. So the back side, I have all these little threads. I like to either cut the threads, that way they're not hanging out at the end or inside our design. I'll use a lighter, and when I use the lighter, the lighter is to just singe those little threads so that they kind of melt away and they're not hanging out in my design, especially up in here when the other side will be seen. You don't want a thread popping out. So no spray glue here either, no attaching, but I want to make sure my design's the right way. And I'm going to go just to the bottom of where that sew, uh, our sew line, our uh, guideline that we sewed out the first time and I'm going to do I know that there's no sewing up at the top there so I can place the tape on the corner you won't have to worry about stitching over it and I'm going to put a little piece there we go flip it over I'm going to press down to make sure all those little pieces are really snug and this will be our last step this is where you really want to make sure that your bobbin thread is the same color as your top thread. So I do have black on the bottom. Pop it back in the frame and we're going to stitch out our last step. finished. Make sure everything is good before we take it out of our frame. We want to make sure everything's sewed out right. All the stitches are good. Take my tape off. So, and with this being in the frame like this still, I would go ahead and leave it. And then what I would end up doing is just the envelopes part without the snap tab. I would be able to fit one right here. And if I fit one right here, that's utilizing my space or I might just you know find a, a snap tab or something another piece of something just to put in this little spot move it all the, your pattern all the way over and you'll utilize and not waste your stabilizer so now we're off to go cut it out I'm going to show you how I can get my next piece in here to utilize this space so what I've done is I've cut the pieces out of my uh, the back of this one so I just have the small tab hanging out. What I've done is kind of uh, marked with the scissors or kind of got it to got it to tear the stabilizer. And what I'm going to do is carefully pop this up and be able to fold it over and I'm taping it. So what I've done was pulled it out and pop. Because what's going to happen is when I sew that one for just the pocket without the tab, it's just going to overlay a little bit on that tab, and I didn't want the stitches to go through it, so I'm just going to pop that up real quick. So this is how we can utilize. Maybe it's for the more advanced beginners. If it's not for you, it's not for you. Don't worry, this isn't a have to. This is just a, a tip. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and um, I've loaded it into my machine for just the pocket with or the envelope card holder without the tab. I'm going to use uh, my white thread this time, so I've changed the black to go to the, my white. And I'll do my first step. 
and that's going to be where I'm going to make my first placement of my vinyl. So as you can see, I know it's white, kind of hard to see, but that is stitched just went to where that tab would have been. So I wanted to make sure it didn't uh, go hit that. It was just off by a hair. So uh, you can always skip that step too if you're more advanced and you don't need the placement step. Uh, I'm showing it because it's there for the beginners. I can do without this step, and I just know that I'm going to place it right on my uh, tab tuck lines. <laughs> my little tab lines, I should say, that are on my hoop, where it's showing me where that's going to go. Uh, let me get it really real quick and I can show it to you. So here's the tabs. This is where it's, the final stitch will be on that line, and the final stitch will be here. So if you are more advanced and you can guide, you don't need that step, and you can just go ahead and place your vinyl where you think it'll be. So I'm going to go ahead and put this vinyl piece in. I'm going to tape it down. This is really cute vinyl. Uh, both these vinyls I got from... Where did I get? The, oh, I got. Uh, sorry, uh, from Dazzle Town Embroidery Vinyls. So Dazzle Town Embroidery Vinyls. They have really cute designs. And I'm gonna pop that back in. So my first step. I'm going to maneuver my hoop back around so that when I do my cutting again, we make sure the piece we want to keep is to the outside of our scissors. And I'm going to cut really close to my stitches. And we want to make sure that this is cut straight out because it's going to do a sewing down. So we want to make sure it's cut straight out. And we're going to cut to there. And this cut is straight out. Right. I'll put my next piece, which is the lower part of my little envelope pocket. Where is this hanging thread? Same thing, I'll line it up at the bottom since I know that's my good line. Thing, a little bit of tape on the sides to keep it down. Back in and sew our next. The thing, remove the tape. This one just doesn't sew out the little guideline for the snap tab because we don't have a snap on here. This is the envelope without the snap. And same thing, I'm going to turn it so that the piece I want to keep is away from my scissors. The piece I'm going to cut is towards me. Grab that inside really gently. And we're going to make our smooth cut. What's important is these top pieces up here, because when it sews the top of the envelope, it's just going to be right above it. If your vinyl is too high, it's going to sew it, and you won't be able to get a card inside. So we'll go ahead, and that's done. Now we're going to add our back piece. I am not going to use any type of um, liner inside. I think it's just fine for being a little card holder. This will uh, hold up, so I'm leaving this. It's not a bad uh, view. It's you know looks okay, plus the card's in there, so it'll hide. So we want to get rid of our little hanging stitches, cut them off on the corners, down at the bottom. Take my lighter again, and my lighter I'm going to just singe the little edges, or ends, sorry, not edges, the little ends of this. And we'll go ahead and place our piece here. I'm going to tape the corners again, tape our sides, no glue on this one, 
I'm usually a spray glue hog, but here we go. Pop it in, and last step. Our final step. Make sure everything's okay, everything's stitched out right, we're good. This literally is a two minute stitch out. I think placing it and putting your vinyl and stuff takes longer than the actual stitching, so it's a quick and easy project. Alright, our next step will be to remove it from our stabilizer and to cut it out. Okay, we're going to find our little threads here, pull them, and we're going to cut them. Once again, I use a lighter, just a little bit on there to singe them down. That kind of keeps them from fraying or tear it coming out as well. Kind of singes and makes a little melted ball there of thread. Okay. Same thing. I don't want to hold it too long, just enough. And everything looks good now for the cutting. And then on this side, this is kind of the side that will be seen the most. This is our, our presentable side. The side is still good, but we're going to cut on this side, the top, so that when we do make our cut, um, the angle of your blade, how it lays, is kind of important, and when you're cutting with scissors as well. So you want to use the top of your visible side towards you and upwards. So I'm going to measure, it's up to you what you want for your outline. I'm measuring about 1 8. Hold it tight, I use my rotary blade, and I go straight. And I'll be doing that on three sides. So you want to hold it tight so that as you're cutting it doesn't, you want to make sure you have a, a good blade to hold it and cut it straight. Do that one other side. Okay, pretty Pretty good. Everything turned out good on this, so I'm going to do these by hand. So I'll cut this one real quick.
This one's so cute. Perfect. And the card goes in there. Like I said, there's plenty of room for a few cards. Your license. There's a couple different cards. That's just three cards in there. So it's actually pretty good and holds quite a bit. Super cute. Okay. And then for the snap tab, I move my project, not my scissors, and I'm going to cut straight. And I stay in my corner and make that curve. And go straight up. And I don't go all the way to the tip of the scissors to snip. I use my inner uh, to the very back in the middle of my scissors. If I'm about to go offline, I stop and, and go ahead and open your scissors back up and continue again. And that will get you back online. Vinyl's not real uh, forgiving. Kind of like you get one chance to cut vinyl. Uh, when you go to your corners and curves, you're going to turn your project, not your scissors. I usually hold them on my side. And I'm before my curve, I make sure my scissors are all the way open, and I'm going to make one nice turn. Turn my project. I'm going to stop, put my project back into my scissors. I'm going to do one nice cut, stop, bring the scissors back in again. I always show about cutting. Cutting is very important. How your project is at the end, final presentation is very important. Presentation is like number one. How it looks, how people see it the first time is very important. So there we go. We have a nice cut all around. If you want a little bit of trimming of the felt, that is forgivable. <laughs> Vinyl's not. If you have little spots for your vinyl, you can either use the tip of your scissors to get into your corners if you have good scissors for that. Um, little little spots that didn't you know quite come out, you can tiny little tip of that can work. But we're all good. Good. Same thing. Cards fit good. Now we're going to apply our snap. So we have. Our guidelines for the snap. Poke our hole with the awl. Put my one tab in. And here I've actually made one for you. If there wasn't one, the, the way to get your snap or your guide to your next snap would be is to put this one in, not attach the other part to it yet, and put it to where you think would be good. And then you slightly push, and that's where your little your spot will be for. Uh, your snap so you would know where the, the little divot is from that. We'll make our hole and on the inside make it out. So I'm going to put the male part on the top of your tab. Put it in your pliers and I use the edge of the table to help me give some leverage for it to push down. And then the female part is usually at the bottom or in the whole part of your project. So, a little guideline there, a tip. Press down. So on tap, uh, snap tabs as well and everything when you do your keychains, usually the male will be at the top or at the top of the tab, the smaller part. Female is usually at the whole part or the larger part of your project. Snap closed. Perfect. Grab those cards. Put them in. Look how cute that is. Minimal waste. That's all I have for waste. I didn't use a big piece of vinyl or waste it. So I have extra vinyl to make more or another project. So here we have our envelope gift card holder with a snap or without. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments. If you really like the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll have more videos coming. Thanks for watching.